Welcome to Billy Review Stuff, where I review stuff. Today I am looking at McFarlane Toys Movie Maniacs, Red Miller from Mandy. If you haven't seen Mandy, it's an amazing horror fantasy revenge film. That's the best way I can say it. And also, it is a Nick Cage film, and this is a film that he enjoyed doing. That's, if you know how he acts, this is something that he enjoyed. He had where he was able to sink his teeth in it and go full on cage with it. It's it's amazing. But this is a limited edition of 3,000 pieces. It comes with a collector card and also comes with a bonus gift. Um, it's not... It's not an action figure. It's a pre-posed statue. So it's McFarlane doing what McFarlane loves. But let me get this out of the box and we'll take a look at Red Miller. Okay, one thing I want to go over real quick. If you ever plan to take this out of the package, you're not going to be able to put it back in there. Uh, because the way this was done up, it had where the figure was in here and the base was put on. And there was like no way to get this out. Uh, safely or normally. I don't, I don't get that. Um, I kind of wish I could because it does have the Mandy logo back there, which is, which was really cool. I was like, that's very, very neat. Also, the backdrop in the box has where it's, it's a decent piece of like, Im it, like imaged cardboard there, or, but it has like these little these little plastic holders here to have where it keeps it in shape. One for top, one for bottom. It's not super snug on both sides, but I'm like, this is, this is neat. This is something you can throw behind him. And it, it's, it's wonderful. And then also, uh, let's go ahead and, oh God. I, yeah, just, I wish the packaging was better. That's, that's it. And I'm like, did this really need to be taped up here? Todd, come on, Todd. Did this really need to be taped up? But let's see here. I think it has the number on here too. Come on. <sighs> yes, yes. It needed to be sealed this much for this card. Really? This? The fuck? You didn't hear that. Oh god, this is this is annoying as shit. Get the there we go. Jeez. Okay. This was let's see here. Certificate of Authenticity, number 2,339 of 3,000. That's wonderful, and it has a great picture of Nicolas Cage, Red Miller on the front, completely covered in uh, the blood of his enemies. And it has a little card holder that has Mandy on it, which is very well done. I I love this. There's not a ton of uh, Mandy merchandise out there, but there for what there is, uh, it's it's all great. And then the last thing before the, the statue is the mystery thing that comes with it, which I have this feeling it's just going to be accessory that goes with... Oh! Oh! Ooh! This is actually neat. We have the tiger sticker from uh, his shirt when everything happens. And a Cheddar Goblin sticker! Okay. Okay, I can handle the uh, horrible uh, packaging for the... Uh, for the card there. Uh, it's a little crumpled up, but I mean, like, it's it's worth it. Uh, it all has the uh, Legion M logo on there. Uh, they, they own the rights to the film. And then uh, he also has a chainsaw, which is pretty dope. I kind of hope if they get a chance to do some... Oh, okay, this is going to be another one. This tape is, is, is sturdy. It's winning. But uh, it's a little warped. I can I can straighten that up termite that's great um but yeah this is this is awesome uh i'm gonna straighten this up and then we'll get to the figure honestly i i i really enjoy this it has where it has a lot of painted detail a wash on it the blood on it too um i like i like that the bonus item has where it's it's a chainsaw that goes on its back uh from the chainsaw fight scene which is which is fantastic. I love the detailing on the beast, his axe that's based off. I think it was a, a Celtic Frost is the band. It's based off their uh, well the the F and Celtic Frost from their uh, album artwork. I I love that it's it's reminiscent of the actual like 
film with the base there where there's a lot of like washed out colors in some scenes and it just looks like a heavy metal album in the movie and it has that here with the the logging and like part of the quarry uh dirt there for the base and then the mandy embossed on it's really really great i do wish that mcfarlane would do an action figure of red miller an action figure of nicholas cage here because I think it'd be fantastic. If he didn't do it, I wish a third party company would. Um, let me uh, let me stop this and go ahead and just get in closer here. So yeah, face full of cage right there. But honestly, the detail on there, like the eyes on Nicolas Cage, Red Miller in this are, like if I can get a light in there just right, they're very well done. Uh, the paint uh, has where it's very well done on there. They could have easily just like gummed it up and just made his face look like ass with, uh, the paint in there. But no, they have where they captured the, uh, the bloodied look of Nicolas Cage in this film. It's, it's kind of phenomenal for like, I, this is like $25 on McFarland's store. Whoop, bump the camera. Um, it, it has all the details, like his, his knife, the vest he picks up after fighting the uh the demon bikers um his his various things he does the beast that he forged his hand wraps from being cut with the barbed wire where he's bound uh it's it's all there like it's the texture on his pants <laughs> the chainsaw done over his back just like in the poster cuz the poster has where he has the, the beast down, but he still has the termite chainsaw on his back there. It's, it's wonderful. And then, like, the base is just, the wash on it and then the detail is just, it really brings this, it brings Red Miller to life. And honestly, I want to go watch Mandy right now because this, this figure is phenomenal. Just, just once more on that face, just, that's. That's the son of Coppola right there. That's that's Nicolas Cage. This is probably one of the best head sculpts I've seen of Nicolas Cage. Because I think there's only two. This and uh, Ghost Rider. But, I mean, probably one of the best ones for McFarlane. Even, they made the stubble on the chin work even. Even though you can tell it's just, it's just painted on partially and the texture there. But it works. That, that's Nicolas Cage. This is... I gotta say, if you have a chance to go buy this, as far as I know, it's still in stock on McFarland Toy Shop. If there's any way to get free shipping or something like that, or if you have a couple things that you want to order, guys, it's it's worth going to get because like, it's Nicolas Cage. It's it's badass, and if you haven't seen Mandy, give it a shot. Again, that is like it's a horror fantasy revenge film it it has that fantasy aspect to it that hero's journey in it of Nicolas Cage getting revenge for his lost love it's 10 out of 10 sound visuals and story it's a wonderful film but uh this has been Billy Beige and uh I gotta find a spot to put this guy now because like I got like a little backdrop and stuff, I need, I need like a good spot for Nicolas Cage to live now. I mean, Red Miller to live now. Don't judge me.